Hello Scorpio, welcome back. I am off camera, but it's been a rainy and rainy day and I'm coping with uh, starting my green, so my apologies for that. However, we're going to just check in with your energy and see what is coming in for you, my dear Scorpio. In the extended, I have their true intentions and actions and any blockages. So if you are interested, the link is in the description box below this video and always be aware that there are scammers active on Instagram pretending to be me. So if you're getting any request or a DM, it's not me, it's a scammer. The only way to book any reading with me is through the official website. Thank you. All right, starting off with the Emperor in the reversed Aries energy, double Aries energy, Ooh, the Magician in the reversed. The sun reversed. Wow, what is going on here? I don't even have the deck upside down. The ace of pentacles, the judgment, the wheel of fortune. Holy moly. It feels like you're not able to tap into your potential here. That's what I'm seeing. Like you're trying to figure out what you can do to change some things in your life, to change your habits, your attitude. Um, you may be feeling like a little bit lazy around these days as well, not really feeling the, in the mood to take any type of action. So you're a little bit in a proactive energy, right? And you may feel like things are just not the right time for you to take these actions as well, or there is a lot going on on the outside or outside influences that are um, influencing your energy and I do get the feeling that if you would take a little bit more proactive role in in your life that you will definitely be able to turn situations around instead of like missing some opportunities because it feels like there is an opportunity that is going to come your way but you're going to dismiss this and I feel like there is a high chance for you to kind of like take this opportunity, but it could also be that this is a work offer where you feel like you're getting underpaid, so you're going to reject it. So that could also be the case, all right? So you're starting off with a lot of upside down energies here. Okay, but then we do have in the near future, we have the Hermit. This is a card saying that you're learning from the past, learning from past mistakes or any type of missed opportunities. You're taking a close look um, at yourself, at your journey. This is you kind of like withdrawing your energy and really searching for some healing and some uh, w uh, wisdom. And I feel like you're gonna get wiser out of this um, situation here, whatever this is that's going on. Because I feel like you got two nines here, which are all talking about self-development, self-improvement, confidence, um, independence, and working on your money. And money is going to go much better for you. But I do feel like maybe you've been in some type of stuck rut where you're just feeling like a little bit down and drained and just um, not that happy with the achievements or with the harvest, right? Like maybe you've been putting in a lot of energy and effort into a project and you're just feeling like, okay, every time something happened and I might something got delayed and because of that, you may have received less money or a less bonus or something in that realm um, that really uh, could have been pissing you off. But there are also a lot of lessons that you have learned that you need to take with you because it is all a part of progress, all right? Failure does not exist. It's all a part of learning and um, experience. And I feel like at the end, you're going to be very happy because you're going to learn from all these mistakes or all these failures. Because I like, you know, if I look at this, this feels like you failed at something. I'm just going to be honest. But again, like I said, there is no failure. There's just a learning curve here. 
And with the uh, temperance card, it's saying that whatever you really want to manifest, it's still going to take some time, some nurturing, some rebalancing emotionally as well as materialistically. All right, this is the alchemist. So it's kind of like taking something from the past that didn't work out, could have been a little bit negative as an impact or out, um, outcome, and you're changing that into something positive. So that is what the alchemist of the temperance does. And it does this with a lot of tempering energies and patience. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's clarify a little bit further for you, Scorpio. I see. Probably what this reading was about. Some type of rejection that you felt here. Um, and maybe for the long haul, you've been acting like this rejection didn't get to you and you're way more tougher than that. However, this rejection has something deeply rooted in you and you can't run away from it. It's time to face your fears. It's time to face this, this rejection. It might be a rejection from, from work as well. And I feel like it's time for you to kind of like face what has happened and move forward. This is some type of completion, a release that needs to happen. All right, so let's see what more we have. self word yeah. This whole situation may have, obviously a rejection is always a hit on our self word and value. But, you know, remember it's, God's rejection is God's protection and I feel like that's what is exactly going on here and is very fitting for your uh, situation here. We also have the beauty card, meaning that, um, you know, you're not going to lose any gifts, all right? Your gifts are just going to be improving. You're a very beautiful soul inside and out and do not allow anyone's rejection even if that comes from a higher realm or someone that has some more power over you or not over you, but could be like your manager that gave you like a wrong, not a wrong, but um, maybe a negative outcome of your assessment or something like that. Don't let that get to you, okay? Don't let that get to you. Have some more faith in yourself and in your powers and in your manifestation in your wisdom twin flame okay so we're talking about a twin flame connection i don't think that this was about a twin flame connection it could be for some of you but it could also be that um, in your personal life as well as your work life and your twin flame life everything is going a little bit upside down and there is some type of an ego play an ego at war here that is going on between you and your twin flame but also on a more personal level in your life I'm going to clarify more about that twin flame. Take back your power, courage. And divine masquerade, step out as a real you. All right. So being a little bit more vulnerable, all right. Um, being able to say yes, I feel that something, or yes, something didn't go my favor. That's a very healing way of accepting a situation and moving forward, right? Um, the more that we try to hide this energy and act like it didn't happen or didn't exist, the more we live in like a um, lie or we're, we're holding on some type of facade here. So the best way of healing is kind of like coming to some type of acceptance here. Let's uh, clarify that twin flame. And obviously in the extended, we have a little bit more love related energies, but this is more overall energies. Wow, well, the four of wands wanted to come through. So this is definitely a higher commitment. So those who are in a twin flame connection, expect some type of commitment happening between the both of you. 
uh, the, the, there is also the justice could be a Libra that you're dealing with but this is definitely talking about some type of karmic balance that is about to take place in your twin flame journey karmic cycles are completing itself karmic relationships between you and your twin flame or outside of your twin flame is also coming to an end in order for both of you to come and reunite together the page of cups is also here in the reverse that is also an indication that there is some closed off energy there is some type of um lack of vulnerability that's being shown either by you or by your person i do also have this divine masquerade so someone is definitely uh, wearing a false mask as well as with this facade in love as well that could be you or it could be your person but there is definitely going to be a reunion um, here. I believe in your shorts reading, there was also a message coming through with a reunion that is about to take place. So this is a double confirmation that these energies are absolutely correct and still going to take place in your life. So maybe not now, maybe you're still dealing with this rejection and you still feel like, okay, it's not happening the way that I want. Um, it's because you're still dealing with the healing of your own self-worth and self-esteem and value right now so the, the the faster you go through your healing the faster this twin flame situation or relationship comes into fruition for you yeah for many of you i'm also really receiving a work situation that isn't really going in your favor you're trying to avoid doing the necessary and you don't want to bring up a lot of more upheaval at the work front so you're kind of like avoiding um the work uh there's also the ten of pentacles reverse so for some of you this is only going to resonate for you um if you're in this situation only you will know. I'm not going to advise you any uh, any otherwise. But if you feel like someone is, how do I say that? Giving you a contract and you're not really trusting in the company or you're not trusting in the way that this these people have been treating you, it's saying like do not commit yourself to something where you know that there's going to be a, um, how do I say that? Like, if you know that a company is going to, uh, how do I say that? Jesus, sorry. If you know that a company is going to go down or you know that the company is not going to make it next year um, or there there is like a, I don't know the word, I'm so sorry. Don't sign up, all right? Don't sign up because that could be like a, another failure that you will sign up for. But this is only for those who know what I'm talking about. The unexpected. So within your twin flame journey, a lot of things are going to happen that you didn't see coming. And I feel like the reunion between the both of you is also going to be unexpected, meaning that you will, you know, see them at, a, at an event or somewhere where you least expect it. Or whenever you really feel it in your heart, like, okay, if I see this person um, today or this week, then it just means something and it happens. That is a sign from spirit saying that this is your twin flame. And in the new future, there is most definitely going to be a path moving forward between the both of you. Perhaps in the past, this path was a little bit blocked and you weren't able to kind of like... Um, upgrade this connection but I do see that now there is going to be an upgrade in this relationship and a true commitment and both people are really wanting to be with each other so there's no chaser and runner dynamic it's like both people unite equally with one another and one of the reasons that this is going to happen is because due to your own rejections or failures that you've been through, you have really learned to take care of yourself and your energy and work on your confidence. And because you've been doing this with a lot of nurture and care towards yourself, now you're kind of like going to be successful in stepping into this twin flame union, whole and complete, okay, whole and complete.
Harmony, yes. Power, self-confidence and productivity. So absolutely what we just talked about, that self-confidence is finally coming back after getting some type of uh, hit within your self-worth and um, self-value. So you're going to feel that harmony and that balance here. Hidden path, the marriage of spirit and matter. Wow, look at this, the hidden path. That's exactly what we saw right here. Remember, the path moving forward unexpectedly between you and your twin flame and the marriage, which we already also talked about with the four of wands. That's the hidden marriage path that you are moving towards to, okay? So that's what I have for you, my dear Scorpio. If this resonated, make sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments below. And if not, I am so sorry. I will catch you next week with maybe a more accurate reading for you personally. And for others of you, there will be an extended at the end in the description box below about their true intentions and their actions towards you. Very interesting uh, reading. So you can check that out in the meanwhile as well. So I just want to say thank you, Scorpio, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.